Autonomous Operations is all about making zero touch operations our reality. Migrating towards autonomous operations is a necessity for CSPs to deliver not only the next generation of services, but also to deliver today's services at the cost point that the market requires. And as CSPs now start to harness that 700 billion of new revenues in the B2B2X market, the only way to do that is through automating your operations. TM Forum is helping CSPs do that with our Autonomous Networks reference architecture, our technical architecture, and also our business architecture. And that's really ensuring that the business requirements are aligned with the technical architecture that we're developing at TM Forum. We're also addressing you know, the different levels of automation within a CSP, so CSPs can join us and say, today we're operating at level zero, tomorrow we need to be uh, at level one, and in six months' time we need to be at level four. With that guidance, we can help you migrate to those next levels and give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can add more automation into your operations. We're also looking at intent. How do you drive intent into your operations? By looking at our intent API, we have our meta-modeling, um, and that work is really critical for really realizing the dream of true end-to-end -end, uh, autonomous operations. We also have our AI ops work uh, that we're doing with our service management uh, AI operations framework. So as CSPs start to uh, implement AI into their operations, they understand and can re-engineer those new processes to make sure that end-to-end -end, that the AI is going to work correctly and they have the right processes and approach to dealing with AI. Another big piece of work we're, we're working on is around closed loop anomaly detection and resolution, which is absolutely critical for service assurance. The next piece of work we're doing on that is working around defining the closed loops, the fast, the slow loops, as well as looking at how do you manage uh, closed loops and end-to-end -end autonomous operations, and what are the APIs we need to develop to realize that.